Welcome to my show, Valley Girl Cooking with me, your girl, Sadira. So today we're going to be making meat liver soup. We're going to be using a lot of different things today. We're going to be using red wine vinegar. We're going to hit it with a little bit of butter. And of course, we're going to hit it with a bam surprise. First thing we're gonna do is add our butter. Do, 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 do. The thing I love about butter is that butter is just so good. You can actually just like put it in your mouth and like take a bite out of crime. And when I say bite out of crime, I mean a true hunk out of crime. Matter of fact, I'll show you. And just add to your plate. So, as we let the butter melt, we're just going to do like a normal pan fry. So let's go ahead and crack open the liver. Mm. Who does not like beef liver? I mean, come on, get out of here. This is like the best stuff out there. My grandma used to always get like fried liver and like fried gizzards and hit it with like some hot sauce and like when I say tada, it's a tada. Mm. This looks like grape jello. Like jello pudding. Ah. Alright. So we're just going to add our first piece of liver, chopped liver, into our butter. And go ahead and put in another piece. This is how you know the liver is good. When it's really dark and rich like this, this is the color that you want to see. You want it to be like, phalange-like. Yummy. That looks so good. And we're just gonna go ahead and start frying it. Now as the heat rises on this, I'm gonna show you a little special thing you can do to add flavor into our beef liver. I just want to coat both sides. That looks so flipping delicious right now. This is like, oh my god, the best thing ever. Oh my god, oh my god, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the red wine vinegar and we're just gonna give it a splash. But for those of you who like garlic red wine vinegar, you can just. Give it a good little douse. I like that word, douse. <laughs> We're just gonna turn that up. Let it start bubbling. Gonna add a little bit of our special beef liver surprise. Bacon! Have you guys ever seen the bacon commercials with the dog? Bacon, 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 bacon. It's bacon! <laughs> Excuse me, I just got over the flu. <sighs> so yeah, we're just gonna add that on in. Some more bacon. While this just, uh, excuse me, bacon. While this bubbles up. I wanted to get really hot because this is gonna be really, and you know, you can add SpaghettiOs with this and that would be really awesome too. Today I decided to go with something a little different, but like I said, you can kind of put in whatever you want. Spaghettios would actually make like a beef liver spaghettio soup. Okay. Mm. I guess this is like bacon o's. <laughs> bacon o's. Now you see it's starting to bubble. That's exactly what you want to see. You know why that happens? It's because of the bacon. The bacon itself makes it bubble. Okay. It's probably because it only has like a little bit of like a certain amount of amino acids in it or something like that. Mmm, that's starting to smell really, really, really good. Yummy. Okay. Just let that cook a little bit. Give it a little flip. With our bacon. That is going to give it so much flavor. And using something like turkey bacon 
I mean, bacon is healthy anyway, but if you're going to go with turkey bacon, you might as well just like stop exercising right now because you're going to lose like so much weight. Look at that. Mm. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. So we're also going to add some uh, mushrooms into it. The mushrooms are going to also give it a lot of flavor. Mushrooms and garlic, red wine, vinegar, like really, really, really complement each other. So we all know cooking 101. Just give it a stab. And crack it up. We're going to turn this down a little bit. We don't want it to cook too fast. Oh, it smells so good in here. I don't know. Today my little chip is not working. Maybe it's because my can is so small. Let's stab it again. Oh, there we go. Mushroom man. Mm. Smells good right now. It it smells good right now. Smells good right now. It it smells good right now. Feels good. Good, 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 good. Feels good right now. See how pink that's getting? That is the color that you want to see. Just to get that crack in. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. And it would be like straight banging. Kids love this dish. I'm serious. Pack it up put in like one of your little plastic baggies or something like that, put in like a brown paper bag and send them off to school. They are going to tear this, they are going to, the kids in school are going to be trying to trade lunches with them like beef, liver, surprise? Dude, you got to trade me right now, right now. It's going to be like on a cracker. Yum. Mm. Beef, liver, surprise. Now, since our beef liver surprise is almost done, we're going to get ready to plate it because it's going to continue to cook itself in the bowl. And see, when you plate it, that's when you can really put all your love into what you're, you're about to give someone. Because, I mean, you eat with your eyes first, right? All right. Get that all in there. You can just eat this with chopsticks like that. And for our topping, we're going to a little bit of Mexican sauce. Now this sauce is pretty much good on anything. I'm talking about ice cream, beef liver surprise, Cheerios, bananas. It even works in your bathtub if you want to moisturize your skin. And BAM! It's a <laughs> We're going to use our Mexican sauce on the beef liver. Then this is going to be like a soup so if you have your chopsticks get ready. Okay, and we're just going to douse that bad boy. Look at that. Beef liver has never looked so tipped in right here. Your kids will eat this. You know this has chocolate in it? This is like chocolate sauce. You just add on here. Kind of looks like doo-doo pudding, but it tastes really, really, really good. So we're just going to add some crackers to it. I'm gonna show you how, you know, you can dip and eat this and I'm gonna prepare a cracker for you. Okay, so you know exactly how to do that. Do you see that? That is so good. You just give it a mm. Okay, so you got your chocolate Mexican surprise. And I mean, salt just adds so much flavor to everything that you have. So I'm just gonna hit it with some salt. Forget it. That's it right there. Dust yourself up and try again. You can pick it up and try again. Try again. <laughs> Bam! This is ready for the taking right now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I'm so hurt. You know what? Forget it. I'll eat my own doggone food. That's she don't never, do. ever, ever want a piece of my food. So I'm just going to put a little liver, a little bit of mushroom, dab it in some of that salt. I definitely want some of my Mexican mm. stuff on there. Okay, and get some peanut butter with it. Mmm. 